Hello everyone! Today, we are going to talk about the water cycle. Remember to click the follow button to get updates about new videos. The water cycle plays an important role in nature. In this video, I am going to talk about what the water cycle is and the different stages of the water cycle. Have you ever poured yourself a glass of water and wondered, where does this water come from? What had to happen to this water so that it could get to where it is today? Well, the water that we see in our lakes, rivers, oceans, and other areas of the earth go through a process called the water cycle. The water cycle is a great journey that water takes on earth. The water goes through a system that continues on and on. In this cycle, the water can be a liquid, gas, or a solid. There are four major stages of the water cycle, and we are going to talk about all of them. These stages are evaporation, condensation, precipitation, and collection. Wow, what a tongue twister. Let's talk about evaporation. Because the sun is so big, it has so much energy, and the surface of the earth heats up. This causes the temperature of our lakes, rivers, oceans, and other natural water sources to rise. When the temperature rises, water evaporates, meaning that the water rises up and changes from a liquid to a gas. This gas made by the water is called vapor. Next, there is condensation. As this water vapor rises high into the sky, it cools down. This is because very high up in the sky, the air is colder. The cold air causes the water vapor to change back into small liquid water droplets. These small droplets come together to form clouds. From the ground, clouds might look like big fluffy pillows, but there are actually big groups of water in the sky. After that, there is precipitation. This happens when there is so much water in the clouds that the clouds become too heavy. At this point, the water cannot hold all these droplets of water, so the water falls back into the ground as rain, snow, hail, or even sleet. Lastly, we have collection. As the water has fallen from the sky, it gets collected into bodies of water. Some of this water falls back into our oceans, rivers, lakes, and more, which is why we can see so much water there. Some of the water falls and collects into the ground, which helps plants to grow. When it is really cold, the water will collect and form glaciers or ice. This collection of water will eventually evaporate and start the water cycle all over again. To learn more about the water cycle, check out this product by Literacy and Math Ideas titled Earth Science Interactive Notebook. The link to this product will be provided in the description of this video.